Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another video. So I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you guys four high protein vegan snacks. These are all improv recipes um, except for the brownie one. The brownie one is an adapted version of the flexible dieting lifestyles recipe because his isn't vegan so I veganized it but all the other recipes I literally just improv like yesterday so yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave like all the full recipes and instructions in the description down below but I'm still gonna show you guys exactly how I make these so yeah without further ado let's just get straight into the video all right you guys so the first step to making these brownies is we're going to be blending three ingredients together so I have 45 milliliters of almond milk right here that I'm just gonna pour in I pre-measured all of these by the way and then I made a vegan egg using a vegan egg replacer I'll leave the link to that egg replacer down below you can find it in like Holland and Bear and like I know some big supermarkets have it as well so it's just like a powder that you mix with water and it makes a vegan egg you could use aquafaba I just don't have any but I've had like I had loads of this egg replacer left so I use that so just make the equivalent of one vegan egg and we're gonna pour that in there now this might sound strange to you guys but the secret ingredient is zucchini so I measured out 100 grams of zucchini or courgette or whatever you want to call it uh, and I just chop that up and I'm gonna add that in there as well all right and those are the three ingredients that we're gonna be blending together for about a minute or so until it's nice and smooth all right so in this bowl we're gonna be combining all of our dry ingredients so I have a scoop of vegan protein powder or 25 grams of vegan protein powder I'd recommend using a chocolate flavored one just because you know these are chocolate flavored um, protein brownies so I'm gonna put that in there and then I also um, weighed out 10 grams of coconut flour so that goes straight in there as well and then I'm gonna go in with five grams of cocoa powder or cacao powder it doesn't really matter which one you use. I just have cocoa powder in my cupboard. And then I'm just gonna eyeball some stevia just because we want to make these nice and sweet. So just a bit of stevia. And then we're also gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. So those are our dry ingredients. I'm just going to mix those all together and combine it. Alright, so next all we have to do is just pour our wet ingredients into the dry ingredients just like that. The color of this is so nice. Like it's such a nice vibrant green color. Right now we're just going to combine all these ingredients together. I'm gonna use this as like a baking tin just because I like how they're already like pre-cut. I don't wanna have to cut up like the brownies myself. I'm just gonna spray this with some coconut oil fry light just to make sure that they don't stick. And I am just going to scoop these out. Alright, so I've been able to make eight little protein brownie bites, I guess. I'm just gonna stick these into, into the oven. 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna open it 10 minutes and check and see if they're done or not. And if they're not done, then I'll leave it for a few more minutes. Right, so while the brownies are in the oven and baking, we're gonna make some protein frosting to put on top. That way they're not dry. So I'm gonna do 15 grams of protein powder. Again, I'd recommend using a chocolate protein powder. And then I'm gonna do five grams of cocoa powder. I'm gonna do a tiny little sprinkle of stevia just to make it that bit sweeter because I'm a bit crazy like that. I'm gonna mix those dry ingredients together, just combine them really well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some cold water from the sink. Right, so I've added some cold water and I'm just gonna mix this. Um, I eyeball the cold water, so like if the frosting's a bit too like thick and lumpy, like it is right now, I'm just gonna go and add more water. And then I've added a tiny bit more water and I'm just gonna keep mixing that until it forms a nice, smooth protein frosting. Right, so I just pulled these out of the oven and I let them cool for like 15 minutes-ish. They don't look very nice, but they taste amazing. I've had these before. So like, if you just wanna compare like the size of my hand to these, like. Yeah, like they're just kind of like 
protein brownie bites but you know they're a good snack if you're ever feeling pecker these are great if you'd want to have a full meal you could make this into like a big mug cake or something and it would be like a full meal so i'm just gonna top these with that protein frosting we just made that just a nice dollop Alright guys, time for a taste test of these brownies. These, this is the only recipe that like I've had before, I've made before, but I haven't had these in a long time. So let's see if they're as good as I remember them. Cheers. Mmm. Those are better than I remember. Oh my god. That's like actually a lot better than I remember. They don't even taste like a diet food. They taste like actual brownie. That's like a 12 out of 10 guys. That surpasses the limit. I'm really shook like I'm just I don't know what to say because I'm just like really shook all right guys So this like you have to make these I don't care if you have to get your blender out and you don't want to get your blender out It's worth the effort. These brownies are amazing. You need to make them. Oh my god, right? So far so good. Let's let's move on to the next recipe Alright guys, so for this next recipe, which is the protein popsicles, you're gonna need 100 grams of soy yogurt. I just used the Alpro unsweetened soy yogurt and I weighed out 100 grams in this bowl. And then you're gonna need 10 grams of your favorite protein powder. I just have the Ghost Lifestyle Vegan Banana Pancake Batter Protein Powder. So that's just 10 grams of that that I'm going to add in there. And then for some extra added sweetness, of course, I'm adding in some stevia. And then you're just going to mix that all together and combine it. There are inev inevitably going to be some lumps due to the protein powder, but the better you mix this, the less likely there is going to be any lumps. So. Now, once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and grab my molds right here so i got these like popsicle molds off amazon if you don't have something like this what you can do is just grab like a cup or a mug and put parchment paper in it and then pour the mixture in and then pour just like um a fork or a knife to use as like a popsicle stick but these did come with like these little sticks that you can use so but yeah i highly recommend getting a mold like this because it's just super versatile and like it just makes this recipe a lot easier so i'm gonna pour our little mixture right here into the mold So that's both of our molds filled. I'm gonna put this in the freezer for a few hours. I'll probably film the rest of this tomorrow, just so you guys know that this takes time. If you don't leave these in the freezer long enough, then it doesn't come out right. So just a little disclaimer. Alright, so right here guys, I have some protein frosting. So again, this is just 10 grams of protein powder, 5 grams of cocoa powder, some stevia, and then I added cold water and I mixed it up and I made this really nice consistency. Now, I will say that a lot of protein powders will not allow you to get this thick consistency. The protein powder that I like to use is the, is the PhD Smart Plant Protein in the chocolate cookie flavor because just the texture that this gives and also the taste is incredible. So I highly recommend using that. If your protein powder doesn't like give you a thick consistency like this, you can add xanthan gum to help thicken it up. So this is our filling that we're going to be using. And then I have some wafers right here. So if you guys watch my videos, you know that I have these all the time. If you're new to my channel, hi, I love these like like wafers are literally one gram of carb per wafer like it's literally five calories or four and a half calories I think per wafer this is the brand the brand is ASCII's you can find these in most big Sainsbury supermarkets or I think they have them at Morrison's Aldi and like big just big supermarkets in general now if you're not able to get your hands on these I will leave like a link for them in the description if you can't find these you can make this recipe using rice cakes instead of the wafers however it's gonna make the calories per serving a lot higher because this is like five calories per wafer and a rice cake is like or a rice cake thin um, is usually between 20 and 30 calories per rice cake, right? So that's just something to bear in mind, but you can make this recipe with rice cakes as well. So 
we have our wafers here and then we have our protein frosting right there so what I'm gonna do I have this plate here lined with parchment paper because we're going to be putting this in the freezer um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my first little wafer right here actually to like not make a mess I'll make these on my chopping board my chopping board right here I'll zoom you guys out we're just gonna place some of the protein frosting onto the wafer like that and you want to spread it out like evenly Gonna take another wafer on top just like that and squish that together so it kind of makes like a chocolate wafer sandwich type thing just like that and then right here I have weighed out pre-weighed out 100 grams of soy yogurt and to that I'm gonna be adding 10 grams of protein powder this is again the ghost lifestyle protein powder I like this protein powder in my yogurt but I don't use this one to make like protein frosting because it doesn't thicken up as well as the other one that I use and then I'm gonna add in some stevia for some extra sweetness this is obviously like optional you don't need to add as much stevia as i do it's just like you know personal preference so just like that and then we're gonna combine that together all right so now that that's done what i'm gonna do is i'm going to literally dip this in there i want to cover it in the yogurt completely so i'm just gonna put that in there flip it around a couple times to make sure it's completely covered up so it's like a yogurt covered kind of thing and then take that out and i'm gonna place it on my plate with parchment paper right here like that because this is gonna go into the freezer and it's gonna make like a kind of frozen yogurt type ice cream sandwich but like protein so I'm gonna repeat those few steps until I'm out of ingredients. This recipe I came up with literally like in the shower. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I know it's gonna taste good. I don't know if it's gonna like actually practically be good, but you know, we're just trying it out here. So. All right, you guys, so I've managed to make three of these little like protein ice cream yogurt wafer sandwiches. I don't know what I'm gonna call these for now. <laughs> But I'm gonna stick these in the freezer again for like at least half a day and then I will let you guys know how these turn out. All right, so I just got home. I've been out all day. So these have been in the freezer for like an entire day. They don't look great. Um, to be honest, they look a bit weird. I'm sure they'll taste good though. I'm just gonna try and like sort out the whole parchment paper business because they're pretty stuck. All right, so I managed to pull one off of the parchment paper right here. I'm just gonna bite into this guys. Guys, I hit the nail on the head with this one. Like, it's like a frozen protein pop tart. All right, that's really good. I'll give that like an eight out of 10. Taste is there, texture is a bit weird, but you know what, for a diet food, it's great. It is a bit chewy, but if you're like trying to stay full, uh, if you're trying to be in a calorie deficit, if like your food takes you longer to eat and it's harder to eat your food, then the, it's better, right? That's why like some people, freeze their protein bars because apparently it makes them like so hard to eat but it tastes like an ice cream treat i don't know anyways i'm gonna try the popsicles right now so we have our nice little mold right here i'm just gonna pull one of these out all right so we have our little popsicle right here again this might be a bit hard for me to bite into so let's just give it a try mm -hmm. that tastes really nice i used to have these in the summer but I didn't use this protein powder, and this protein powder just makes it taste a lot nicer. It's like a banana popsicle, but it's all protein. Alright guys, I'm very impressed with myself. That turned out really good, and yeah. Alright guys, so for this recipe, we're going to be using these free from sweet potato tortilla wraps. Now, there's like... No reason to like use gluten free unless you are actually like gluten intolerant but I like these wraps because they're only 73 calories per wrap so since today's video is like low calorie high protein snacks I figured you know this is like the best thing to use these are from Sainsbury so I'm just going to grab one of these so we're gonna be like following that trend where it's like you slit the tortilla just like that just like one nice slit there and then we're going to be adding in our filling so here i have more protein frosting but i added a bit more water to make it just a bit runnier this is going to be our main filling for this so right here and 
and then right here I just made some PB2, so it's PB2 powder and water. I like using this set of peanut butter just to save on some calories, so we're going to be using that right here on our next little quadrant. And then finally, I'm going to grab one of these Misfits Plain Based Chocolate Banoffee Protein Bars. I'm going to chop it up into small pieces and add that right here just for like a nice bit of crunch. Alright, I'm going to attempt to fold this without making a mess. I hope this works. If it doesn't, I can always make it again, but I just hope it works. Alright, so that's one, and that's two, and that is three. Oh my god, nice. All right, so we have our little tortilla right here. I'm gonna toast this and then top it with some more toppings and then do a little taste test. All right, so I added more water to the protein frosting to make it super watery. So I'm gonna use that as a little sauce to drizzle on top of this. I've also got some more powdered peanut butter. And I'm just going to add some soy yogurt as well. Then I'm just going to top it off with some more of that Misfits protein bar. I chopped up a bit more of it. That looks so freaking good. This actually looks so good. Guys, this was all like improv as well, by the way. Like this was so not planned, but... All right, you guys, I'm very excited for this. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I'm gonna just cut it open right now. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna do a little live taste test for you guys right now. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited. I hope, I really hope this tastes good because it looks insane. It needs to taste as good as it looks. That's a big piece in this piece right here. Mm. Oh my God, you guys. That is really good. Like, that's scary good. Like, for real? Wow. I think I'm just gonna microwave this to have it hot. But like, holy shit, that's really good. I'm impressed with myself. You guys have to try this out. If you do, please post it to your stories or your posts and just tag me in it, please. Because this is the first time I feel like I've made a recipe that's creative and innovative. <laughs> and it's actually really good. And the macros on this are insane. I'll leave like the calories and macros on the screen and in the description box down below, but I'm shook. And that is all for today's video, guys. I had so much fun, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that as well. If you recreate any of these recipes, please do post a photo on Instagram and tag me at Lifts. I would love to see your recreations and share them to my story as well. Let me know in a comment down below what kinds of videos you guys want to see next. And until next time, bye guys!